Hey there, magazines and swaggy leans. Uh, 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 uh. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Today, we are going to be diving into a brand new book, First John. I gotta be real with you all, this is one of my favorite books of the Bible, for obvious reasons. If you can't figure it out, it's because it's named. You see what we're doing here? It's all about the ego. To give us a little background on this book, this book is named for its author, the Apostle John. And it's likely that John wrote this book between the years of AD 95 and AD 98. It was most likely written while John was in Ephesus doing his 30 year residency. And the theme of the book generally surrounds love and fellowship with God. And something else that you'll notice as we dive in is that the author here, John, he saw things in the world and specifically when it comes to the things of God as very black and white, as very this or that. On the Enneagram, John was probably a one. But today we are diving into 1 John chapter 1, and in verse 5, John writes, This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So at the beginning of his letter here, John is setting up this idea that if we are followers of Jesus, if we choose to believe in the message of Jesus, then through him, we have what's called fellowship with God. And in the scriptures, they actually use a very specific word, a very specific Greek word, for fellowship, and it's this word koinonia. And koinonia can be described as fellowship, but more specifically, koinonia refers to a communion or a common life, a sharing together. And we see all throughout this first chapter of 1 John that this fellowship or this koinonia is a phrase used to describe our relationship with others, but it's also used to describe our relationship with God, which is very significant. You see, having koinonia with God, it means that through Jesus, we have a common life, meaning a common eternal life through Jesus. But it also means that we have a shared life with God. This koinonia that we have through Jesus and his death on the cross means that we share in all that God is and we share in all that God has. That, of course, being grace and peace and love and mercy and joy. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. And this idea that a human being could have this kind of intimate koinonia relationship with the God of the universe, that was, and in some ways still is, an absolutely revolutionary thought to so many people. Because I think a lot of us have this idea of God as this sort of distant, far off, up in the clouds authority figure who's sitting on his throne waiting to judge us. But the reality of koinonia the reality of the relationship that we can have with God through Jesus is one of intimacy and communion and God sharing all that he is and all that he has with us because he loves us. And so to bring us back to verse 5 of the text, we see that one of the things that are attributed to God, one of the attributes of God, is that God is light. And so it would follow that part of our fellowship, part of our koinonia with God, is to live in that light, to share in that light, to walk in that light. And then of course it follows that the more we walk in this light, the more we share in koinonia, not only with God, but with others as well. I don't know about you, but as I read 1 John chapter 1, I was so encouraged by this idea that when we have a relationship with God through Jesus, he wants to share everything that he is and everything that he has with us us. And so I hope that you are encouraged today as you're watching to know that regardless of what your circumstances might be telling you, regardless of what your feelings or your emotions might be telling you, God is not a stingy God. God is not holding back. But for those of us who have made the decision to follow Jesus and entered into a koinonia communion relationship with him, God is lavishing all of his goodness, all of his love, all of his joy, all of his peace, 
on your life and he wants to continue to do so. Our job then is to continue to walk in his light, to continue to share in his goodness and continue to live in his love. Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for watching this episode of ADITW. I hope you are enjoying this series and I hope it is strengthening your faith. Before you go, I wanted to let you know that right now, as you're watching this probably, I am off traveling on the speaking circuit, speaking at different camps, different conferences all summer long. So first, I wanna ask selfishly if you could pray for me as I go and I preach and I teach, that would be much much appreciated. But secondly, I wanted to let you know that if you are interested in having me come speak at your church, having me come teach at your school, your conference, your university, I am available for booking and I would love to come teach wherever you are. Right now I'm in the process of filling up my fall and winter schedule and if you or your church or your school would like to be a part of that schedule, you can fill out the link in the description down below. Fill out the form, we'll get connected and we'll figure something out. As always, always, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to the people who made this video possible, our supporters on Patreon. If you want to help partner with this ministry in a financial way, Patreon is a great way that you can do that by giving just $1 a month. You can help this ministry grow. You can help us keep making videos. You can help us keep spreading the gospel all around the world. Again, that link is in the description down below. That is all I have for you all today. I love you. Keep being awesome.